Okay, here I'm going to make a little video on how to do the star field um, at a little lower res and hopefully easier for those of you who um, are on slower connections to see. Um, first we're going to do a new one. So you go to file new, choose your size, we'll just do a 500 pixel by 500 pixel. And there we got ours. Uh, background, we'll want to change that to black so you want to select your dump tool here, paint bucket I guess it's called, and make sure black is selected, and just click. And that makes your background black. Now we will want to duplicate this, so um, there's a couple ways to do it. You can right click on your background and do duplicate layer. Or you could just drag it down to your toolbar. I just right click and do duplicate. It's just easier. Um, now, when you do that, it'll come up with this. You can name it whatever you want. Um, we'll do this stars far because these will be the stars that are farther away. Say so, okay. And now you see you have two layers here, and they're both black. When I Click on your stars far, make sure it's selected. And let's go to um, sorry, my brain just stopped here. Uh, filter up on top, noise, add noise. see here it adds a bunch of stars there for you no, not stars but white dots uh, you can change the amount up how much noise you want it's probably way too many somewhere between five and ten percent um, see five it gives you a little bit so we'll just stick with ten And that's pretty much it for the faraway stars. Now we want to make some larger stars that are a bit closer. So we're going to take stars far, right click, duplicate again. And we'll do stars near. Let's see, we got another layer here. Now, let's right click on that layer. Oh, that's not it. Let's click on that layer and control T to transform. Oops, button. That's not it either. And Alt click on a corner drag it to make it bigger. And, uh, we'll just go with that. And I'm going to turn it as well. Um, let's zoom out here. Just to give it a little bit of difference. From the under layer, and then just hit enter. Once you get to where you want it, let's zoom back in here. And that's easy enough. So now we're gonna make these front stars brighter. So we're gonna inverse them. Control I. Go to image, adjustments, and levels. And we'll just, you see these 
slide bars here. Let's select the one under input. Or you could just do this and where it says zero. We'll just change that to 200. And the 255 one, we'll change that to 250. Um, no. 25. Yeah, I think that works. And then just hit OK. My list don't look like stars, it just looks like a mess. So now we're going to invert it back. So Control I again. And ta da. It's still quite a bit, um, but we're going to clear some of those out. So we're going to select our eraser tool. And up on the toolbar here, you'll see the size. You set it to whatever size you want. Um, I'm going to raise it up to 40 pixels. I'm going to change the opacity down to, let's try 60. And then just start erasing random spots. Clear out some of the near stars here. Try to get a little belt there. Just however you think it looks nice for you. Okay, and that's pretty much that. see here if you take away the far stars you got that now let's see if we can't um, add some dust to this uh, let's see I gotta remember what it was Use. No, nope, that wasn't it. Blur. Caution blur. Okay, that's what it was. You got a filter. Blur. And then Gaussian blur. And you can see, yeah it out a lot. You don't need very much, um, especially on the smaller one here. So let's just say 0.25. I think that should do. Okay, and that's that. Um, if you want to change, she just got pretty much white stars now. If you want to change it to like a blue seems to be popular. You just go to mode, adjustments. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Yes, that was what I wanted. Mode, or sorry, image adjustments. Curves. And you can just play with it, the curves to find out what you want. Um, image adjustments and curves. Or Control M. <coughs> Under channel, you just select what color you want to make it a little bit more of. Let's say we want to make it a give it a little reddish tint. And 
and you can see it turns a little red there. Um, find what you want. Um, we're going to go ahead and make it blue though. So control M, channel blue. There we go. <clears throat> it especially works on the near ones. Um, let me zoom in a bit. You can see. Uh, and now we're going to do a new layer. And you can see the new layer icon down here, or you can right click. I'm sorry, go to file. I'm sorry, layer new layer. For control shift down. And we're just going to make this, uh, we'll call this Nebula. Okay, so we got that. Now we pick a color we want the Nebula to be. Let's make it a orangish. Take our brush tool with a softened edge. That's not very much opacity. It doesn't really matter because you can add it in the uh, layer settings. But we're going to go ahead and set it to about, we'll say something, 86. And we'll put the nebula. Um, well, let's put it up in this corner. I missed something. What did I miss? Let me delete that layer. We'll try again. File new. Or, I'm sorry. Layer new. Layer. Normal mode. Normal opacity. Uh, Oh, I was using the eraser tool. <laughs> ah, what an idiot. Okay, now you set the select the brush tool, set the color, select your size. Yeah, 48 would be fine. And you want to that capacity would change that to 80 something one. Okay, and then we'll just draw. And yeah, let's put a, another color in there, so we'll change that. Let's make it a, like a brownish. Let's put a couple dots in there. And then get a white. And get a smaller size here. Um, let's make it 8 pixels. That looks about right. And when we made that brown, we'll just put a bunch of dots in there, white dots, just anywhere in the nebula. And make some different sized ones, uh, so four. And put a couple elsewhere too. Just because. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to do this Gaussian blur on this. And this will be one a little bit higher. Let's change the transparency. Let's right click on the nebula. I'm sorry, just left click on it. And go to opacity. There we go. That's what I like to see. And just lower it down. And now we'll try a little Gaussian blur in there as well.
Uh, the stars really didn't come through. That's okay. We can put them back in. So we'll just do a layer, new layer. Okay, we still got the white selected. And we're just going to put a few white dots at random. Especially in the nebula there, since often that's where new stars are created. And just random throughout the image. And then once you got a few, say, four pixel ones, let's change it up to uh, eight. And just throw a few in. You don't want very many. Okay. That's that. And now let's move that layer underneath the nebula. There we go. You need to move it, you just in the layer list here, just click and drag it wherever you want. For example, if I take the background, drag it to the top. Oops, I guess I can't. If I take stars far, put it up to the top, everything's black. The layer order is important. Um, let's try, just for uh, shits and giggles, let's try lowering the opacity of near stars as well. Yeah, that'll do. I kind of like that. Okay. That's the basics. You can, um, throw in a lot of other junk, like for example, let's throw in the lens flare and see what happens with that. Um, just go to filter, render, lens flare. And you drag the lens flare where you want it. Uh, let's not put it on that layer. Let's put it on like in a nebula layer 1 underneath nebula, so let's put it there. This layer 1, let's rename that. Double click on it to rename it. And this is the larger stars. Let's put the lens flare there. So select that layer, go to filter, render, lens flare, and now in this little box, you don't get uh, much of a preview, so you kind of just have to guess. I'm going to put it behind the nebula, and let's just click OK and see how it does. It didn't do anything, so Control Z don't do that. Let's try this again. Render. Oh, there's nothing on the layer, so. Yeah, that won't work. Let's try their lighting settings. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Ignore everything I said about the lens flare, that won't work the way I want it to. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much it then. We can do. Uh, let's copy this. Duplicate layer. Oops. Duplicate larger stars. Uh, so control Z that thing I just did. Now let's make a select white, select your paintbrush, and let's make it um, let's say around 25 pixels, and then select the spot. Uh, I'll put it just not quite in the middle. So you got a big one there. And 
now we want to gosh and blur this. And we'll change that blur to say. Yeah, it looks about right. One point. And now you got one real close one. That's pretty much the basics. Uh, pretty much play with it, see what you like. Um, this was just pretty quick of me not having any set plan, just playing around. Um, yeah, if this helps you at all, um, let me know. If you think there's any way I can improve on it, great, let me know.